Hello friends, we as a consumer buy products to lead our lives healthily. Our safe, quality and pure product is our right. Our product, our rights. But have you ever thought who defines the quality of the products? Friends, it is none other than the well-known organization Bureau of Indian Standards, popularly known as BIS. We use a number of products in our daily lives like petroleum jelly, toothpaste, shampoo, mineral oil, cosmetics, perfumes, petrol, diesel, LPG, plastic bags, rubber gaskets for cookers, LPG hoses, toys, cricket bats, balls, etc. But have you ever wondered what these products are made of? Well, it is interesting to know that most of these products are made up of ingredients that are derived from petroleum and coal. For example, cosmetics like lipsticks, body lotions, etc. include paraffin wax, which is a kind of a solid hydrocarbon, a petroleum derivative, as a base. Plastics, synthetic rubbers are polymers derived from the organic chemicals generally produced in refineries. So, standardization of petroleum and coal-related products plays an important role from consumer point of view. Petroleum, Coal and Related Products Department has a mandate of publishing Indian standards in the field of petroleum, lubricants, biofuels, solid mineral fuels, gaseous fuels, bitumen, coal tar, organic chemicals, dye intermediates, plastics including adhesives, composites and safety of toys, rubber, cosmetics, fragrances and flavor ingredients and sports goods. This work is carried out with the guidance and approval of Petroleum, Coal and Related Product Division Council. We have a well-defined structure of sectional committees, subcommittees and panels or working groups that works under PCDC. Major subsectors of Petroleum, Coal Related Products Department are Petroleum Products, Organic Chemicals and Dye Intermediates, Rubber, Plastics, Coal, Cosmetics and Fragrances. So friends, today we are going to discuss about the standardization activity in the major sectors of PCD. In preparing many of the standards, lots of evaluation of various parameters based on the laboratory testing and the experience of the experts are all taken into account. Lengthy discussions take place on each parameter as petroleum is the depleting source of energy and we are mostly depending on petroleum fuels. While refining the crude, we get products like petrol, diesel, LPG, aviation fuel along with many other hydrocarbons. These hydrocarbons are precursors for many of the organic chemicals, solvents, polymers, etc. At Indian Oil, we are manufacturing and marketing petroleum products as per Indian standards. BIS has prepared many Indian standards for biofuels as required by the government of India from time to time. These fuels include ethanol blended petrol, methanol blended petrol, biogas, biodiesel and diesel blended with biodiesel and even we have a biojet fuel specification. Petroleum and the related products of Synthesis or Biological Origin Sectional Committee PCD3 has published Indian standards for various aviation fuels. IS-1571 Aviation Turbine Fuel Kerosene Type Jet A1 IS-1587 Aviation Turbine Fuel High Flash Point Type and IS-1604 Aviation Gasoline as well as IS-17081 Aviation Turbine Fuel Kerosene Type Jet A1 containing synthesized hydrocarbons for aviation fuels which are blended with synthetic components. IS-1571 Aviation Turbine Fuel Jet A1 Kerosene Type is the fuel that is generally used in our flights. This standard is aligned with international practices as the flights are refueled in other countries also. This specification has therefore evolved primarily as a performance standard. The fuel includes additives like antioxidants to prevent peroxidation and gum formation, metal deactivators to co counteract the effects of metals 
known to be deleterious to thermal stability such as copper, cadmium, cobalt, iron and zinc. Fuel is tested for the characteristics related to composition, volatility, fluidity, combustion, corrosion, thermal stability, contaminants, water separation, conductivity, lubricity etc. so as to ensure its quality and safe usage. A lots of research underwent and uh, various technologies for preparing synthetic or biological components that can be blended in ATF globally. Even our own CSIR Indian Institute of Petroleum has developed a technology that includes the biojet component. IS17081 which is published in 2019 includes this technology also. This standard specifies the requirements of synthesized components that can be blended with aviation turbine fuel meeting IS1571. This synthesized component can be blended up to 50% as per IS1571. PCD3 sectional committee has also formulated various other Indian standards on petrol, diesel, kerosene, LPG and solvents etc. Petroleum standards cater to all kinds of industries ranging from MSMEs to MNCs. So the test method should not only be precise and accurate but also accessible and acceptable to all stakeholders. As the government policies are moving towards implementation of blended biofuels with gasoline and diesel, the PCD1 has also prepared national standards for test methods of biofuels and their blends, including ethanol and methanol blended petrol, biogas and biodiesel. IS1448 part 26 establishes the rating of liquid spark ignition engine fuel in terms of an arbitrary scale of octane numbers using a standard single cylinder four stroke cycle with variable compensation ratio and a carbureted CFR engine operated at a constant speed. Motor octane number provides a measure of the knock characteristics of motor fuels in automotive engines under severe conditions of operation. Also PCD has published some of the most important Indian standards for lubricants and greases. It has set standards for internal crankcase engine oils, multipurpose gear oils, hydraulic oils, multipurpose greases and calcium brace greases. And recently engine oil standards have also been upgraded suiting to BS6 engine and electric vehicles. IS1012 turbine lubricating oil specification prescribes the requirements and methods of sampling and testing for lubricating oils intended for use as lubricants and control fluids in steam, gas and hydro turbine systems at ambient temperatures. To meet rapidly growing power demands, a large number of turbines with or without gearboxes or of varying capacities are expected to be installed in near future. The power stations based on gas turbines and combined cycles are also expected to become popular owing to their inherent efficiency. Let us move on to the next major sector of PCDC, the organic chemicals and dye intermediate. Organic chemicals play an invaluable role in the modern lifestyle. Some are suitable as feedstock for medical, pharmaceutical, biochemical or bioengineering applications. Others are used as ingredients in polymer and plastic production, as solvents for cleaning agents and as various additives. BIS formulate Indian standards for organic chemicals and alcohols to ensure safety and quality. Without these product standards, these chemicals can harm us badly. PCD9 sets standards for organic chemicals, alcohol and allied products, while PCD26 for dye intermediates. With increasing demand for these chemicals in our country, DCPC is making many of these standards mandatory by establishing QCOs. Acetone is an important commercial solvent and raw material with a wide usage in pharmaceutical, chemical, explosive and paints. IS-170 acetone specification prescribe the requirement methods of sampling and test for acetone intended for industrial purposes and is under mandatory certification. To ensure the quality of product, determination of requirements of purity, acidity, etc. are required. Benzene being a carcinogenic chemical and methanol a non-complying hydrocarbon are restricted to reduce their harmful impact on human health. Denaturing agent is a substance added to make ethanol or alcohol poisonous, bad tasting and unfit for consumption. IS4117 alcohol denaturants specification prescribe the list for formulae of alcohol denaturants. 
essential requirement likely end use applications and their limit test and denatured alcohol completely denatured alcohol and specially denatured alcohol formulation are prescribed in the standard with their specific composition and the amount to be blended cd is composed of alcohol and specified denaturants that can't be easily removed by any simple process and can be used in a number of industrial uses as the denaturants can't be easily or economically removed cd is considered to be at low risk of diversion or abuse specified denaturants are more readily removed by simple chemical processes sd can be more portable by removing denaturants through certain recovery processes as a result its use is controlled through the registration of users denatured alcohol provides a solution to permit industrial use and manufacturer of ethanol and even there is less duty on denatured alcohol making it considerably cheaper than pure ethanol IS2833 is the standard for enlene enlene is a transparent oily liquid colorless to pale yellow when freshly distilled having a strong characteristic odor and darken on storage it is a highly toxic poison that is absorbed through the skin gas chromatography method and assay by nitrate value methods are used for determination of assay percentage gas chromatography method is also used for determining nitrobenzene content in enlene Rubber is another important material that surrounds us. Many products that we use in our daily life such as shoes, mattresses, hot water bags, balloons etc are made of rubber. Rubber is also used in making tires of vehicles and aircrafts. PCD 13 sets standards for rubber and rubber related products and PCD 29 evolves standards for the rubber and related products testing methods. This department prepares standards for rubber and rubber products. We are the exporters of rubber and play a crucial role in the publishing ISO standards at the international level. IS 7466 rubber gasket for pressure cooker prescribes the requirements and methods of sampling and test for rubber gasket used for domestic pressure cookers. The use of pressure cooker is very common in present day living. and the various component used should be of good quality rubber gasket is an essential component of the cooker and is subjected to heat and moisture throughout its use requirements as given in the standard like compression set tensile strength elongation at break aging test performance test presence of heavy metals in rubber total zinc oxide in organic pigments organic dye stuffs ensure the safety of the rubber gasket used in the pressure cooker IS3565 tits for feeding bottles was formulated in order to make the tits harmless and agreeable to the baby this standard includes the requirements for reusable tits for feeding bottle made of natural rubber or silicon rubber rubber contain harmful ingredients which are likely to go into the solution and contaminate the milk or liquid baby food it may impart undesirable odor taste or discoloration and also cause irritation to the feeding baby some of the rubber ingredients are also harmful to the baby and may cause contact to dermatitis in acute cases in this standard requirements along with test procedure have been prescribed for harmful ingredients such as n nitros amine and nitrous stable substances vulcanized to mercapto benzo thiazole antioxidants volatile compounds content migration of certain elements from natural rubber or silicon rubber physical requirements like tear resistance test and tensile test have also been incorporated Plastics have become an integral part of our lives. Whether we are using plastic bottles, grocery bags, irrigation pipes, electrical insulation, trash bags are all made of plastics. Even most of our eatables are now packaged in plastics like plastic feeding bottles. 
plastic bottles for oils and vegetable oils, packaged water, plastic pouches for milk, etc. Even toys that are made of plastics affect our kids' health. In such a scenario, standardization becomes an imperative. PCD 12, PCD 21 and PCD 27 sectional committees work tirelessly for setting standards for plastics. BIS has published a series of Indian standards on safety of toys. Toys are made up of materials like plastics, paints and fabrics use certain chemicals which may have toxic effect on kids. Kids may sometimes get hurt due to sharp edges of the toys and by engulfing small parts of toys. Hence, toxicity and safety aspects have become a major concern among parents. Toy safety therefore plays an important role to safeguard the health and future of the children. The nine parts of IS 9873 are published to cater the safety aspects related to mechanical, physical, chemical and flammability of toys and IS 15644 includes safety of electrical toys. Compliance with the requirements of standards ensure that the toys meet certain criteria for avoiding physical and mechanical hazards. Levels of toxic elements like antimony, arsenic, barium, cadmium, chromium, lead, mercury and selenium. These standards prescribe the specific requirements and test methods for toys intended for use by children in various age groups. Test for shape and size, test for pom poms, sharp edge test, sharp point test, impact test, kinetic energy test, wall impact test, flammability test, migration of certain elements, etc. are some of the major tests involved to ensure the safety of kids. Besides toys, babies feeding bottles are also made up of plastics. Feeding is a special bond between a mother and child. Every mother wants to feed her baby with the milk that is pure and safe. It is important that milk must be delivered in safe feeding bottles to babies. You would be delighted to know that plastic feeding bottles shall mandatorily meet the specification IS14625. The manufacturer of plastic feeding bottles is required to obtain BIS certification for their products. Without certification, they cannot sell or distribute feeding bottles. Under the Infant Milk Substitutes Feeding Bottle and Infant Foods Regulation of Production, Supply and Distribution Act, Feeding bottle means any bottle or receptacle used for the purpose of feeding infant milk substitutes and includes a teat and a valve attached or capable of being attached to such bottle or receptacle. IS 14625 Plastic Feeding Bottles prescribes the requirement and methods of sampling and test for infant plastic feeding bottles and receptacles. In this standard, the migration limit of heavy metals like antimony, arsenic, etc has been restricted to minimize the harmful impact on infant's health. This standard also includes different tests like test for permanency of pigment, transparency test, drop test, comprehensive deformation test. Use of plastic has increased a lot in all aspects of our lives. With this increased use of plastic, Thoughtlessly, the danger of mismanagement of plastic waste has also increased. Dealing with the accumulation of plastic waste is a tremendous task. Disposal of plastic waste is a serious concern all over the world. Banning single-use plastics might not result in completely eliminating plastic waste challenge from the society. Strengthening the waste management practices are required to put plastic waste back into the circular economy loop. Plastic wastes can be properly managed without causing any pollution by using plastic waste management techniques. Plastic waste management is a collective term for various approaches and strategies used to recycle plastic materials that would otherwise be dumped into landfills or bodies of water or otherwise contaminates the environment. IS14534 Plastics Guidelines for the Recovery and Recycling of Plastic Waste Helps in Selection, Segregation and Processing of Plastic Waste Scrap. These standards also prescribe guidelines to the manufacturers of plastics products with regards to identifying the basic raw materials, whether it is virgin, 
raw material or recycle it or blend of both. BIS has also formulated many important Indian standards for recycling of plastics, compostable plastics, test methods for biodegradable plastics which can help us to manage the plastic waste. As I have said earlier, standardization is not an easy task. While setting standards, sometimes tricky technical questions are raised. For example, in setting the standard for various bitumen, what should be the breaking point? How it varies for the cationic and anionic based modified bitumen, etc. Such questions need technical acumen, data available with R&D labs or references to international standards if available and any other existing guidelines. PCD6 Technical Committee develops standards for the bitumen and tar related products. The standards setting for these products become crucial as bitumen, tar, etc. are used in making roads, pavements, waterproofing, buildings, boats, roofing and many more products. Bitumen emulsion is heterogeneous two-phase system consisting of two immiscible liquids, bitumen and water, stabilized by a third component, the emulsifier. Bitumen emulsion for roads, cationic type, is used for tag coat applications, surface dressing work, used for plant or road mixes and other applications such as fog seal, crack sealing and prime coat applications. Cationic bitumen emulsion uses in India has increased substantially in last two decades. The uses of emulsion as a percentage of total bitumen uses has also went up. This standard covers the physical and chemical requirements of bitumen emulsion cationic type for road works. The Indian standard prescribes test methods like homogeneity, viscosity, coagulation of emulsion at low temperature, storage stability, particle charge, coating ability, water resistance, stability to mixing with cement, miscibility with water, water content, tests on residue, distillation to ensure the quality of bitumen emulsion. Coal and Related Products Sectional Committee PCD7 formulates the standards on sampling of coal, test methods, codes of practice, classification, etc., which put a check on the quality of coal. Most of these standards are referred in various notifications of DGMS and are used by the industry extensively. With natural resources like coal mines getting depleted, use of biofuels is increasing. Biomass briquettes and pellets are used as alternative to coal as a source of energy. PCD7 is therefore formulating standards for these products also. IS 439 Industrial Coke specification prescribes the requirement and methods of sampling and test for industrial coke suitable for use in blast furnaces, foundries and ferro alloy industry. The latest revision has been taken up to address the development in coke production plants. Coke shall conform to the requirements such as ash percent, moisture content, volatile matter, sulfur, phosphorus, shatter index, micum index, porosity, reactivity, coke strength after reaction and coke reactivity index. When tested in accordance with the test methods like proximate analysis, determination of special impurities such as carbon present as carbonate, chlorine and phosphorus. Determination of sulfur, methods of stabilizing coke, determination of reactivity of coke to carbon dioxide. We all want to look good, don't we? After all, it boosts our confidence. We all use cosmetics and fragrances in our daily lives. Since beauty products are used directly on our body, its safety becomes very important for us. PCD-19 deals with the standardization of cosmetics. Indian standards are available for cosmetic items used in our daily lives like shampoo, hair oil, skin powder, kajal, etc. To ensure safety of beauty products, IS 4707 Part 2 Classification of Cosmetic Raw Materials and Adjunct Part 2 provides list of raw materials which are not recognized as safe for use in cosmetics. This standard include list of ingredients which should not be used in cosmetics, ingredients which are permitted with certain restrictions and also ingredients like preservatives, UV filters which are allowed with restrictions. 
these Indian standards safeguard the interest of Indian consumers against the harmful substances used in cosmetics. The Drug Controller Journal of India implements the generally recognized as safe GRAS and generally not recognized as safe GNRS list throughout India. The Indian standard IS4011 prescribes method of test for safety evaluation of cosmetics. It provides guidelines for skin irritation testing for cosmetics and guidelines for assessing contact hypersensitivity and photosensitization. Hina, also known as Mehendi in Hindi, is a leaf of a small shrub. The powder of dried leaves is also used to dye the hair and for coloring the fingernails, palms and sole of the feet. It is also exported in considerable quantities. IS 11142 Hina Mehendi Powder Specification prescribe the requirements and method for sampling and test for Hina Powder. Hina Powder quality is generally determined by its color, purity, dyeing property and fineness. The principal coloring matter is lawson. At times, Hina powder may be adulterated with sand, stems, fruit of Hina plant, husk of paddy, leaves and twigs of other shrubs, etc. All these quality aspects are addressed in the standards and to restrict malpractices. Certain requirements and tests, as in case of powdered spices, have also been included. This standard prescribes the test methods like moisture and volatile matter cold water extract, crude fiber mineral matter, acid, insoluble ash, absence of synthetic dyes and loss in pigment to ensure the quality of Hina powder. Fragrances and Flavors Sectional Committee PCD18 of BIS has formulated many standards in the area of fragrances and flavors. Formulation of standards in this field is important as most of these essential oils are used in cosmetics and some of them also have medicinal values. Out of these essential oils, one of the most important oil is oil of vetiver. Khas is found naturally in several parts of India and its roots have long been used in perfumes and incense. The plant derives its name from Tamil word vetiver. Oil of vetiver is widely used in soap, perfumery and cosmetics industry and is generally obtained through steam, hydro distillation of roots of cultivated or wild vetiver. It is also used as flavoring agent. BIS has formulated IS 1177, which specifies requirements and method of test of oil of vetiver, cultivated and khas. IS 1177 specifies its two types, which type 1, which is oil of vetiver, cultivated, and type 2, which is oil of vetiver khas. Out of all requirements of IS 1177, requirement of optical rotation of vetiver oil is most important as measurement of optical rotation is an accurate method of determination of essential oils. Standardization in this field helps in containing and health hazards associated with the use of such flavors and fragrance in cosmetics and hence it is necessary that manufacturers follow these Indian standards to produce quality products. As children, we all have loved to play. Yes. Sports goods add fun to our lives, but the safety of sports goods is equally important, especially when we hand it over to our children. PCD 28 sets standards for the sports goods in India. The scope of PCD 28 is quite wide. It is responsible for formulating Indian standards for terminology, safety requirements, methods of sampling and test, specifications for sports goods, and related products and activities including gymnasium equipment and physical fitness equipment. Considering the growing exports of sports goods from India, this sectional committee on sports goods was constituted around six years back. We have further constituted five subcommittees on different products within this sectional committee. These subcommittees are going to suggest the required changes in the existing standards, keeping in view the new materials being used in sports equipment and also the changing dynamics of the games. BAS has prepared many important standards include those of fuel blends, cosmetics, plastic recycling, safety of toys, LPG hoses, etc. A gamut of new subjects are under process by these sectional committees. Green diesel, E12 and E15 blends, 
एविएशन ग्रेड हाइड्रोलिक ऑयल लुब्रिकेंट्स एंड ग्रीजेस फॉर इलेक्ट्रिक व्हीकल्स गुलाल स्किन जेल स्किन लोशन सी पी वी सी रेजिन पेट फ्लेक्स नाइलॉन चिप्स टॉलिन डाई आइसोसाइनेट पॉलीथर पॉलीऑल पॉलीस्टर पॉलीऑल वल्कनाइज रबर शीट्स फॉर यूज एज जियो मेम्ब्रेन वाटर प्रूफिंग पॉलीमिथिलीन फिनाइल आइसोसाइनेट रबर पॉन्ड लाइनर्स आर सम ऑफ द न्यू सब्जेक्ट्स दट आर अंडर कंसिड्रेशन बाई दी पी सी डी सी For more info you can visit the BIS official website www.bis.gov.in or you can download our mobile app i care to dig on the resources as per the needs The BIS e-governance portal Manak online provides a comprehensive view of its activities including on standardization This portal serves BIS technical committee members and also other users of Indian standards filters to view the aspect wise indian standards classified based on test methods product specifications codes of practices etc is also available the list of indian standards relevant to various ministries and departments can also be accessed online details of published indian standards and draft standards open for public commenting are also available proposals can also be submitted through the portal to make new indian standards details about the technical committees members and their affiliations through manak online are just one click away